Welcome back to Uncle Larry's Kitchen. Uncle Larry Roussel. Larry, it's good to have us back here. And, you know, we just showed folks how to get a few squirrels, and we're going to show them how to do a squirrel stew in a few. There you go. And the first thing we started off with, we took the squirrel and browned it up real good. I like to use virgin olive oil to brown it. Take it out of that, put it in a pressure cooker or a slow cooker to get it tender. And then once you get it to that point, like we have here, yep. tell us what to do to make it really quick. Quick and easy, you got the squirrel already cooked, so stew in a few, one jar, about a pound of squirrel meat. We're gonna combine that in this, this pot right here. All right, would this be a good time to add some vegetables if you wanted to put something in there, like carrots? Or... It's just like ragu, it's all in there. Oh, right? that's you don't great. need none of that. So, uh, it's all in there. All right, I gotta tell you, this is a nice couple of young tender squirrels. Well, there you go. They were hand picked. <laughs> there you go, I'll tell you. All right. We're gonna bring this to a boil. It's gonna take about five minutes, maybe a little over five minutes. And then after we hit a boiling point, we're gonna cut it back to a simmer. So your products are good to make a stew pretty much out of anything, have you? Any kind of stew you want to do, Don. Uh, Shrimp stew, crawfish stew, chicken stew. I did a rabbit, rabbit stew and a few. We did red bean. Now, if you would, for people, maybe we got some Yankees out of watching this and don't know. Tell me the difference between gumbo and a stew. All right. Well, one thing, somebody asked me that same question a while back. I said, one thing is going to be pretty obvious on the on ingredient list. A stew and a few has a lot more ingredients, but that's one, one difference. Another difference. Stew and a few is not a concentrated product. My, my ready set gumbo and my ready set oak gumbo, they're both concentrated products, so you can have water to that. Stew and a few, you don't need to do that. Well, Larry, besides your gumbo and your stew, instant basically, you got seasonings too. Yes. Now, are the seasonings already in here, or do you need to add that to that? You don't, you don't need, the seasoning is in there. The seasoning is my foundation to all of my other products, including my brown sugar dry rub, okay? So that's in there. And what do you use your spices on? Like a, a ribs maybe, or you could do them on a this meatloaf here, or ground meat, hamburgers, anything. Yeah. Anything. You said it already, hamburger, but the, the thing to, that is best on the brown sugar dry rub is the baby that's back. That's my rib. favorite right there. But baby back. Now this here, you could use it on anything. So gumbo, stews, salads, or you get steaks, pork chop, great on pork chop, but anything. Buddy of mine even put it on his toothpaste. On a what? Because he don't like to brush his teeth, but now he brushes his teeth every day. I don't recommend you do that at <laughs> no. all. All right, Larry, we, we quick and stew in a few minutes, all so right. let's get some of the squirrel stew and so try let's it do out. That. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. If those squirrels only knew what was going to happen to them, they'd be proud of that. I think so too. I think they'd be happy to be in this stew in a few. You know, squirrel hunting used to be the number one game species, you know, and the deer has overtaken it now. But there's a lot of opportunity to get out there and hunt squirrels. Some people like to do it with dogs, other people like to do it still hunting. And it's a great way to introduce kids and new people to the sport of hunting. And this is what you end up with right here. And just use Larry's stew and a few, and it's squirrel stew time. There you go. Let's get there it. There you go. 